I'm back at the pond. There was a really cool idea that Father Fish ran on his channel. He called it a resurrection jar. The idea is to get a jar, go to a pond, which we have here in the background, and fill it with old leaves and detritus from the bottom, put it on a windowsill without too much sun, without letting it overcook, and see what kind of little life forms emerge, like Daphne or scuds or detritus worms or what have you, and then use that as a seed to start a live food culture. I thought it was a really cool idea, so I am uh, here to do that. I brought you along with me. I'm Bob, and this is Sonny's Fish Room. When I do something, I like to be prepared. Here's my trusty cooler. And in it are two jars. Well, more or less uh, old pretzel containers. They're not jars. Something to scoop up the leaves with. And something to scoop up just a little bit of bottom mud or detritus. This is a coral feeder. It's a uh, kind of like a turkey baster that you use for feeding uh, corals. This is my local pond. It's not much. It's essentially a stormwater runoff pond. The water comes from the street carrying uh, particulates from tires and car exhausts and settles here for a while. And then goes through that culvert, down through the woods, and into a stream. Lots of birds and wildlife come through here, herons. There's a kingfisher that lives here that I can never photograph because he's too fast. And wood ducks, mallards, all sorts of things that could conceivably bring in micro species from other waterways. Just a little bit of the bottom, not too much. So I have two jars and we will take them home and see if anything develops. I brought the jars in, wrote the date on them, December 6th, 2023. Covers loose. I want to reduce evaporation loss, but still allow some air to circulate in there. So I will check back in a week or two and we'll see if anything develops and if we get anything to put under the macro lens. It took about two days before I saw any signs of life. Some specks had formed on the side of one container. I recorded them through my cell phone's clip-on macro lens and saw these worms. It looks like they built a nest out of detritus. I also saw lots of specks moving around inside the containers. It was hard to film through the curved surfaces, so I transferred the contents of one container into a clear plastic box. The flat-sided box was a little easier to film than the curved containers, but not much. I suctioned up some of the specks with a coral feeder, and I put them into petri dishes so I could get them on videotape. I found a worm on the bottom of one dish. I don't know what kind of worm it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. I also found something that looked like a tick or a spider. I googled underwater arachnid and found a page describing water mites. I don't know what species of mite this is, whether it eats plants or is predatory, and whether it might eat baby fish. Again, if you know, leave me a comment. Other specks turned out to be copepods. Wikipedia says they're a group of small crustaceans living in nearly every freshwater and saltwater habitat. They generally have a teardrop-shaped body with large antennae. Most eat bacteria or microscopic plants and animals. 
Others are parasites and attach themselves to fish. I added a tiny amount of golden pearls fry food to the petri dish and set it aside for about 20 minutes. When I checked again, some of the copepods were pink, like the golden pearls, so maybe they ate some. If they did, it might be possible to raise a culture on golden pearls. The next step would be to test the copepods in a small tank. This is to make sure that the baby fish would eat the copepods and that the copepods wouldn't eat the baby fish. I don't think I'll do that. I've already got several cultures of vinegar eels. Vinegar eels are my go-to live food for baby fish and they need almost no maintenance. But the resurrection jar was a fun project. I took a sample of nature indoors and got to see some interesting small animals that I wouldn't have otherwise seen. Thanks, Father Fish, for the fun idea. If you like this video, here's another one YouTube thinks you might like. For videos on aquarium fish keeping and occasional nature videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.